Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video and today we are playing games. We are taking a look at the Portal 2 Desolation mod consumer catalogue for 1981. So if you follow them on Twitter, um, you'll know that um, all week they have been teasing us with little tidbits of information, little teasers towards the mods, little teasers towards this consumer catalogue, which was released yesterday, um, actually. Uh, it's their 1981 Aperture Science, Aperture Laboratory, sorry, consumer catalogue, packed with the year's latest innovations and purchase opportunities. They then teasers with a balance reduction card, and I really want one of these, because, you know, everybody wants to have their, uh, their balance re reduced. Let's, let's be honest. <laughs> um, we then learnt about... Erroneous asterisks, asterisks, easy for me to say, and knowing our corporate leaks. And then about a reminder that when the sirens blare, there's Moondus in the air and we need to keep our respirators handy. But yesterday, it finally was released after months of work. The Aperture Science 1981 Consumer Catalogue. And it's an interactive experience packed with story and lore information, detailed concept, artwork and more. So we need to click the link to begin our adventure. Shall we click the link? I think we should. I haven't, I'll be honest, I'll be openly honest, I haven't looked at this, I haven't seen any of this, I don't know what's inside. Um, Demon just sort of asked me uh, whether or not I would, you know, do sort of like a blind play watch kind of thing of it, so um, yeah. All right, without further ado, let's, let's, let's take a sneak peek and see what we have got. So, uh, also, if anybody wants to look at this themselves, or if anybody wants any more information about the mod, I will chuck some links down below. Anyway. Oh. Aperture reminds you that you are not permitted to smoke, ignite, or combust unless you are stationed in the incinerator room. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So we can click on the catalog. I'm just, I'm just, you know, looking for stuff. You don't know what might be in here. All right. So, tomorrow's technologies, today's prices, yesterday's safety standards, your semi-free guide to the latest consumer products from Aperture Laboratories, trademark pending. All right. Introduction, Cave Johnson. Uh, greetings, friend. Welcome to 1981 edition of our consumer catalog. <clears throat> I will just um, apologize in advance. I've been feeling a bit rubbish in my throat the last week or so, so. I do apologize for that. Uh, in this issue, we've got a brand new product range filled with all the latest gadgets and gizmos from the top brainiacs here at Aperture. to inform you that the Fusion Forge is currently operating at 98% inefficiency. Aperture inefficiency. Laboratories forging ahead to the future of energy. <laughs> oh, dear. I've tested all these products myself, and I'm happy to report that the majority of them almost work. So don't go asking for refunds. This year at Aperture, we... <coughs> what? No, Caroline? I told you to transcribe the coughs. You're transcribing this too, aren't you? Cave is visibly upset. Did you just write Cave is visibly upset? How did I even <laughs> know you wrote that? All right, I didn't. You're just making this up to fill the space in the catalog. And by that, by you, I mean me. This is Caroline, by the way. Not anymore though, I've stolen, I've stolen the keyboard and now it's me, Cave. Also, just a warning to anyone out there with a sensitive skin, the paper used in this catalog may contain trace amount of sulfuric acid. Sorry about that. Our industrial printers got jammed, so we ended up having to melt them all together, melt them all to get the catalogs out. Aperture has detected a dangerous surge in hazardous graffiti artists tampering with our test chambers. Please do not paint misleading arrows, diagrams, or ultra-realistic <laughs> acid pools on the chamber floor. <laughs> Uh, don't even open up the open the catalog if you had to open it and take a look at this note sorry about your fingers if for some reason you decided to eat the catalog sorry about your undeveloped brain oh and your color and your colon sorry that's really difficult to read because of the uh, the the ring it'd be nice if we could like zoomed in there just so. anyway uh, Cave Johnson after founder and CEO okay let's go to the next page Brace. Biological restoration and automated corporal extension. 
you've heard of personal computers, but have you ever heard of a computerized person introducing Brace, the latest flagship innovation from Aperture Labs? Get a whole new lease of life with a range of integrated mechanical upgrades for your body to help you be a better human both at work and at home. 64 kilobytes of memory, neuroreceptors, state of the art, servo motors. Never forget, the Brace Central computer has 64 kilobytes of memory. That's more than three elephants stacked on top of each other. Is it really? Cave? <laughs> the Brace is an adaptable integration cybernetic system which augments and improves your body with a range of options available for your every need. You might have seen people with artificial limbs or replacement hearts. The brace takes that to the next level with an extensive network of mechanic, mechanized augmentations running through your body and interfacing directly with the brain. How does it work? Brace is driven by a central computer c computer controlled to your coupled to your brain. Attention all staff. The coffee machine in the research and development lab is currently off limits due to a mix up with the toxic waste outlet. That's not good. I love my coffee. Just like the vital systems of, you, of the, your human body, such as digestive and circulatory systems, the vital functions of the core brace system are automated, allowing you peace of mind to focus on what matters. However, just like your muscles, you have the power to control braces optional modules, giving you unparalleled freedom to movement and access to powerful features. Who is it for? Everyone. The brace is useful both as a medical tool to repair injured limbs or damaged internal organs and as an upgrade to your healthy body enhancing your strength and utility and brain power how do i get one visitors at aperture labs to have your brace installed it's only set you back thirty thousand dollars and you'll walk away a new man fitting your brace will require extensive surgery in one of our automated installation bays bit of a scaredy cat don't worry you can choose to be anesthetized for the duration of the installation procedure for an additional wow <laughs> they're charging you to be anesthetized holy crap that's um that's mad that's mad. <laughs> I would... Reminder, we will never disclose your personal information. Aperture, keeping your safety and security safely secure. I would hate to ever have some any sort of medical brace with any form of anesthesia. Not that I've ever had one before, but uh, yeah. Uh, bespoke fit, and the brace is available in all shapes and sizes tailored to you and your child's requirements. Alrighty then. Um... Mr. Daniel Perez, please report to the main desk. Your wife of 32 years, who lives in Atlanta, Georgia, is calling you about her severe toe-related medical issues. The optional modules. Every brace comes with a standard set of bodily enhancements, including a serial overclocker, digestion optimizer, and muzzle enhancers. But why not make your brace unique with a range of bespoke optional modules? Arm. Arm yourself with an anti... anti-brachial... Relativity Manipulator. The forearm replacement module is an integrated version of your handheld portal device, allowing you to create quantum tunnel wherever, wherever, and where, when, wherever, and where, and whenever you like. Holy crap! Who writes this crap? <laughs> with the arm, all the functionalities of the handheld portal device are now part of your body, interfacing directly with the brace to provide super la superlative control and utility powered by a miniature black hole the arm is sure to astound your friends and befuddle your enemies also includes volta grab function for handling heavy objects with ease so who would really honestly please ignore the following government nuclear launch codes a 17 x k b why 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 do i have to check nuclear launch codes Um, so, I'm not sure I would want a whole freaking black hole device on my freaking arm. Jeez. Also, what what good is that going to be outside of um, Aperture? Because um, surely, if there's nowhere that um, can conduct the pulse, the portal, um, i.e., a conductible portal surface, it's going to be very good. It's for twelve thousand dollars, it's a lot of money. Anyway, tibial impact neg negators. Do you work high off the ground or do a lot of exercise? The tibial negator. Negators are just a thing for you. With gyroscopic and, 
auto stabilizers and shock absorbents, servo motors, the tibial integrated replace you your lower legs with mechanicalized limbs, which will protect you from any fall and enhance your movement capabilities. Walking and running now feel better than ever as the tibial neg impact negotiators. Uh, react to your environment, sensing changes to terrain or increased velocity. The perfect counterpart to the arm module. All right, so I'm just I'm just interested here. here. I'm just going to read this next one. Uh, the optic perception spheroid. Enhance your sight with the optic perception spheroid. Clean up team seven. Report to the ventilation matrix. <laughs> Not only will this eye replacement module give you clear crystal, crystal clear vision, heightened reflexes, and optical zoom functionality, it will also give you an integrated graphical display uplink to Brace's central computer to pre present detailed information about your body, your brace, and the world around you. Check the weather when check the weather, watch a movie, and monitor your small. <laughs> Ah, oh dear. Check the weather, watch a movie, and monitor your small intestine all at once, paired with the R module to add an amazing reticle to your display. So, wait a second. Just wait a goddamn second. They are just rebranding re and remaking all of their existing devices, right? I don't think there's, like, anything special about them. They're just, yeah, they're just... <laughs> you know what I'm saying. They're long fall boots. That's a, port that's a portal device. And uh, that's just uh, the game hood. <laughs> Pretty much. And the present feet, the tib tibial impact negators will not negate non physical impacts such as social or psychological leg based trauma. Will not negate? <laughs> okay. Oh, non physical. It's right. It's fine. Warning. This announcement is embedded with the high frequency tones, which will be an intense headache to anyone over the age of 85 or under the age of 85. <laughs> oh, my head. Um, all right. I feel like a new man, and my wife says I feel like one too. Dale Ascot Tescus. Now I can run, think, shoot, and live a better life, bit better than ever before. Gabriel Newman, Washington. I was born with no arms, legs, or common sense. The brace is just right for me. Brandon Palmer from Idaho. Why not brace yourself today? Oh, I'm bracing myself, all right? All right. The Fusion Forge, the best and only nuclear fusion generator in the world. Aperture is forging ahead to the future of energy with the Fusion Forge. The vast nuclear fusion generator is the crown jewel of Aperture Lab's facility, powering all of our internal systems. It's the power of the stars themselves, harnessed right here on Earth. Just like a star, the Fusion Forge works by the nucleosynthesis of hydrogen ions, which forms helium and releases vast amounts of heat energy. Most of the helium produced is redirected into the forge cooling system, preventing electromagnetic magnetic overload. The rest of it is used to fill souvenir balloons available in our gift shop. Oh, I'm definitely going to buy one of them on the way out. Definitely. How does it work? Ugh. Salty donuts and brand new salty salt. Salty salt. <laughs> so salty it tastes just like salt. And the salt is mine. Salt mine. The salt mine cafe. Salt. <laughs> oh dear. Nucleosynthesis occurs in the fusion forges inertial electrostatic confinement chamber in which an electric field is generated by the magnetically suspended. Quasi-neutral plasma cloud heating the hydrogen ions to fusion conditions. Large turbines at the top of the forge convert this heat energy into electricity, which powers the aperture facility. Kilowatts. I like the way it's spelled killer as well. Not um, Climbing into the fusion forge's inertial electrostatic confinement chamber will be a resort of death, followed by a three... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Sorry. Why? Why is that a thing? Man. So you're going to die and then be fined $300. Jeez. Nu nuclear rods. Our previous generator, the Fusion Forge. Fusion Forge. Oh, sorry. The Fission Forge. Was shut down because... This the is an employee announcement. Could Ingrid, the intern, please bring a tube of elbow grease, a tin of rainbow paint, and a spring-loaded porno structure to the reception desk? <laughs> Oh, is that is that the new guy, the um, the apprentice? Oh, I've heard that one before. Um, so our previous generator, the Fission Forge, was shut down because the non 
nomenclature nomenclature befuddled local hobbyists who mistook it for a fishing forge. Who's it for? Us, mainly. The fusion forge was designed primarily to power internal systems. However, if you live in the local Lake Huron area, you can benefit from Fusion Forge too. Give us a call and our teams will link up your household with the Fusion Forge for just $600 a month, allowing your everyday life to be powered by the future. It's pretty expensive for 1981, but um, it's pretty expensive by uh, my standards, I would say, for this day and age. Jeez. So... I apologise for the coughing, guys. I'm trying my best. Um, so, with Fusion Forge powering my home, I'd say my power bill has been reduced by about 20%, but don't quote me on that. Um, this the Fusion, the Fusion Forge makes me so happy seeing what we've achieved. I always feel a warm glow radiate through me when I'm close to it. That's by Bernie Skinner, former Aperture employee. Uh, we miss you, Bernie. Our deepest concerns to your family. <laughs> Do you think that was like his dying? He was like saying that testimonial right as he was dying, just as I'm close to it. Yeah, but there's no wonder. There's no wonder you're getting a warm glow radiating through you. It's probably all the radiation you're getting off it. So, um, I'm interested about this, especially because um, I wonder if the Fusion Forge is going to play a part in the actual mod itself possibly um i don't know a, a great deal about the, the the story of it or anything i don't know if there's a lot been re released i do live under a rock most of the time but um yeah it makes me feel like something's going to go wrong with the fusion reactor or something has gone wrong with the fusion Re uh, forge sorry not reactor forge um so yeah we'll have to see how that one then um, plays out i guess uh, so semantic preservation capsules one small step for man one giant leap for mankind have you ever wished you could go to sleep one night and wake up years later to explore a brave new world where there are flying cars and robot butlers and all your friends are dead with Aperture Light, Abri Labs, Somatic? With Aperture Labs, Somatic preservation capsules are now open for use by the public for the first time ever. Your wish is our command. Uh, so the somatic preservation capsules are suspending animation units designed to keep the human body alive but inactive for extended periods of time. Whilst inside a somatic preservation capsule, you won't need to eat, drink, exercise, or even use the bathroom. Just sleep and the capsule will take care of the rest. So aren't they the ones that I've seen before where you've got like the, the people in kind of like the, the T-pose kind of thing, like the creepy looking people? I don't know if that's some uh, a model you've developed yourself or an existing one. Um, but that's what comes to mind when I, I look at that. Uh, capsules of, is our vacuum sealed metal tanks filled with synthetic blood replacement mixture t t termed suspension, suspension, suspension. Have you seen a suspicious package that doesn't look right? Please return it to the office of Cave Johnson as he has misplaced it and would like it back. <laughs> Uh, name such is because it is a liquid suspension which suspends the function of the human body. The suspension is kept in optimum condition by the tank itself and is pumped around the occupant's circulatory system by ventricular siphons attached siphons attached to their wrist. Uh, my reading is terrible. When entering the vents, the suspension suspension includes a state of cellular dormancy, preventing telem. No, seriously, who writes this stuff and puts so many big words? I'm looking at you. I am looking at you. You just make it so difficult for me every time. <laughs> um, anyway, um, we're entering the la, 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 la. telomerase, telomerase decay, and therefore rendering the body in suspended animation. Suspension, suspension also contains neural stimulants. Ensure a brain activity persists through cellular dormancy. Cellular dormancy. A respiratory mask will allow you to breathe and will also deliver an anesthetic to introduce a deep sleep. I think if I look at the background, I've seen that picture before. That's um, 
That picture has been released somewhere before. Maybe not on their Twitter. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen that before. Since they are intrinsically linked with the Aperture facility, somatic pres preservation capsules are not available to purchase individually for use at home. However, we do offer a booking service for the capsules in our extended relaxation vault. You may stay for a duration of your choosing for just $50 a month. Please seek written permission from your family, friends, place of work, and pets. Once that's done, it's easy. Choose the duration of your suspension, step into casual, and relax. I'm not surprised when all your cleanup teams just got um, got absolutely demolished in that event a moment ago. Um, after you leave suspension, the suspension, suspension will take a few hours to exit your bloodstream, temporarily leaving your blood with a greenish hue. Due to somatic preservation capsule current users currently being in suspension, we couldn't record any customer testimonials. However, since there was an extra planned page, we had to fill. We had to fill. We made up some. Those eggheads at Aperture Labs really truly are great scientific, greatest scientific minds in history. Our time stuff. Oh God. One doth wish to sleep. Prechance to dream in a somatic preservation capsule. William Shakespeare. Amazing science. Abraham Lincoln. A global brand. The Aperture Laboratory's products were sold in at least one of seven world famous continents. That's probably America. And that's it. A friendly reminder to buy our products. All right. So note that these quotes are particularly, if not entirely fabricated please question their valid va validity but also let them let them convince you to buy our products the future is just a dream away all right so let's go on to the next page echo relay opening okay so we heard about this for public testing up for some hands on science why not come visit our test visit us and test your material mental mental metal at Test Shaft Echo Rally. Is not the workplace has feelings too. <laughs> I have to say, I, I'm loving the announcements. They are really kind of... It almost reminds me of... Um, you get similar announcements in Two Point Hospital. And it kind of it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. One of our oldest test shafts, the vintage glamour of Echo Rally, is now yours to explore. A great day out for the whole family. Echo Rally has all you need for the ultimate testing experience. Features include nine enriched spheres to explore, explore, experience chambers from three different decades, three kinds of mobility gel, repulsion, adhesion, and propulsion. Interesting. Um, relax with reassuringly non-experimental beverage at our intermediary lobbies. Not experimental. Hmm. Did you know? In a recent study, Aperture found that asking did you know before stating a fact made the fact 50% more believable and 100% less interesting. <laughs> um, okay, so breathtaking vistas, breathtaking asbestos, I bet. A uh, journey into Astro's history at the Bernie Skinner Memorial Museum. <laughs> he was the guy, was he the guy from the fission? Yeah, the fission reactor. Okay. Um, medical assistance on hand at nearby automated emergency med bay complete with a brace fitting theatre. All this for free, donations welcome, monetary or somatic. Uh, quantum device or anti brachial relativity manipulator required to participate in testing. Choking hazard not suitable for children under three of years of age. Be sure to file your two for one insurance claim will at the reception desk before beginning your test. Help us create a greener planet with adhesion gel today. Does that mean we're going to see green adhesion gel in Desolation? Hmm. Uh, brace configuration. Looking to get a brace fitted? Fill out this form and choose your configuration and customise your brace to fit all your needs. Send in this form to us and we'll contact you once we've arranged your fitting session. So, okay. So it's £30,000 is the base, which we knew anyway. Um, £12,000 for the portal gun. £8,000 for the long four boots. Uh, £10,000 for the HUD. Then we've got Mementic Defense Firewall. Is that to stop you from getting memed? As the famous saying goes, money is the root of all evil. That's why, here at Aperture, you can give us your money for safekeeping in exchange for delightfully non-evil goods and only slightly evil services. Uh, automated vo vocal modulator, quantum keratin. <laughs> wow. 
Gravitation Stimulant. Uh, integrated Gravitational Repeller. Reactive Cloaking Device. Electrostagnated Force Field Generator. Bone Marrow Rejuvenator. Adaptive Pheromone Sprayer. Subdermal Adrenaline Injector. Telemechanics Interface Chip. Oh, I, there was no information about all of those extra bits, though, was there? Hmm, okay. Uh, an emphasized fitting procedure is an extra 10,000 as well on top. Um, and the only credit card they accept is the Aperture Laboratories Balance Reduction Card. Why do you... Why do you need to... Hold on a minute. Why would you put a sig Why would you need your signature on the card when you're filling in a, uh, an order form? Hmm. Hmm. That's quite fitting, actually, to people who are asking about when uh, these mods and things are going to be released. Um, but there we go. I believe that is the. End of the catalog. All right, so there's some in a lot, lots of interesting things in there. Um, there's nothing actually interactable within the catalog itself, though. So um, I don't think I've missed anything. But yeah, interesting. I'm so based on the story. Um, what I'm getting for story, I, I'm. I'm slightly thinking and leaning towards like something is going to happen with this um, fusion forge. Probably um, we're going to see some sort of form of meltdown or something, perhaps, um, and we're going to need to escape. I do believe um, these capsules again. There, um, like I said, I'm sure I've seen something, and I'm pretty sure it was desolation that I saw this for. There was like a some sort of imagery or teaser trailer, and he was going through like a long almost corridor and there was like loads of these things stacked up on either side of the freaking thing uh i'm sure it was just like you just see like a door at the end and then either side there's just all of these um preservation units just like um stacked up either side so um yeah that's quite interesting and then the brace thing the brace thing is also quite interesting um, makes me think we're going to see some um, are we going to see or meet people in the story perhaps um, who have had these brace fit features fitted maybe I don't know, just speculating got to speculate because you've left so many questions damn you Damn you. And then obviously we've got the adhesion gel, and I can only imagine, like, by looking at the bottom there, that the um, the adhesion gel is going to be green. Um, the fact that they, what, they want us to help them make a greener planet with adhesion gel. Um, I can't think of any other reason why adhesion gel would make a greener planet, but um, no, that's um, pretty good stuff, guys. I'm, I'm impressed, and I am um, very intrigued to see... What else is going to come from Desolation? This is the final announcement of the day. Thank you for listening to the Aperture Marketing and Maintenance Intercom. As you go to sleep tonight, remember that Aperture needs your help to build a better future for humanity. Aperture Laboratories. Utopia starts with you. So yeah, um, I'm really impressed with like this this law and. Um, Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Um, so yeah, uh, I think the way you built this up all over through through the week was pretty nice. Was was pretty nice indeed. So um, good job, guys, and I'm really excited to see something else. I think um, I have it on good understanding that we we're going to get something else before the end of the year. So um, uh, don't expect it anytime soon. But before the end of the year, we are expected to see more of this sort of thing um, teasing desolation but um yeah i hope you um enjoyed me going through this catalog um apologies for like my voice for the coughing etc etc hopefully i managed to mute my microphone in time and um avoid that from happening but um yeah um desolation team you should be proud of what you've done 
great job. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I said before, there will be links to the catalog and the Twitter and the Mod DB page all down below in the description. So please make sure you go and check them out and support the mod. Um, it's going to be um, it's going to be a great a great achievement once it comes out. I know um, they're using the actual source code and things to make modifications directly to the engine. So um, I'm quite excited to see what we are going to get from this. Um, so please go and give them support. Um, I'm sure they'll gratefully appreciate it. And um, yeah, keep following them. It's, we're, going, we're, we're a good few years away, definitely, because these mods take time. But um, yeah, don't worry. It will come. It's a good, good bunch of people backing it behind. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Like I said, um, until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. See ya.